Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping down into the world of XRP, reviewing what's been going on most recently and what we think is likely to happen next. Now as I get into the video if you find it useful and informative smash that like button I do appreciate that if you are new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all the notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you haven't yet joined us in Discord what you're waiting for check it out linked in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24-7 it's completely free and I don't think you'd be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check it out let's jump right down into the video here for xrp then so xrp paired up with usdt uh, we are on the bitget spot exchange one hour time frame if you haven't yet signed up to bitget you're sleeping on that for some reason not sure why why not check it out affiliate link is in the description below um, it's always great to have access to another exchange that has xrp on spot so why not check it out uh, affiliate link in the description below let's um Let's review what's going on here. So we can see that we started this break to the downside. This isn't anything unusual. We were expecting a move upwards. We hit into that and then we moved down. Okay, so pretty standard stuff. Nothing terribly too unusual here. Now, the structured moves to the downside are of a little bit of interest. Uh, I'll just simplify it a little bit. We have a five wave pattern over here, uh, here. And so we have that kind of five wave. And as I often say, if you start with five waves, you must go down in five waves. Uh, you can see that we had a correction here brief short B wave movement there and then we start this break to the downside now this is where things get a little bit tricky okay and a little bit tricky because we have a move here this one's fine we can see that there's a five wave pattern in this first move we bounce up that's okay wave three here comes in and wave four is coming up and then we come down into the fifth wave now I say it's tricky because it could be that this is our fifth wave movement right here Okay, and we've already completed the zigzag. However, I think more than likely is that that's an extension in a fifth wave of the third wave. A little bit complex, as I said. Um, but for the most part, I think that's actually then leading us into this fifth wave movement here, of which I think is also complicated because I think it's going to truncate on us. And when I say truncate, it's going to fall short of its predicted area. So normally we would predict this to kind of come in between the 1.236 and the 1.618. It would be between 69.389 and 70.704, right? That's kind of what I would expect. However, looking at the structure of this and the fact that it's diagonal in nature, to me, it looks like we are probably truncating and we're not going to hit our target here uh, our minimum expectations have already been met as in it's already gone down lower than this low over here you can see that little wick over this side it's come down lower so we've uh, we actually uh, our way three low point is 71.533 and our wick low comes in at 71.352 okay so we know that we came down a little bit deeper and that's okay so our minimum expectations have met we can truncate without going down into this low we're already oversold on the eight hour, four hour, one hour time frame. So we're gearing up for a move to the upside. And um, so the question becomes, if I'm to go long on the market, which I'm incredibly tempted to do, how would I do it? Well, I would be going long probably on market value as it stands at the point of recording anywhere around here and my stop loss is going to be below the 1.618 so my stop loss has to be lower than 69.382 and then i'm going to go long and i'm probably going to target out equilibrium just up here and that's going to give us a risk reward ratio of about 2.32 okay so if i'm to go long that's how i would approach it it's not necessarily the best because we don't have a great entry point at this point in time um, it can of course come down a little bit deeper if it wanted to before we went long and again this equilibrium is an area of interest but again not a guarantee either uh, we can also look at the 250 emas they've been a bit of resistance for us so we might in fact actually only really come up a little ways before getting rejected and because we have this zigzag pattern here we can turn this into a double zigzag pretty easily as well so we want to be a little bit cautious okay and we obviously don't want to just be getting rejected on the 50 ema we want to be going up towards equilibrium so we'd have to run and run this one a little bit carefully more careful than we were uh, would normally now guys if you haven't already checked out membership.cheekycrypto.io uh, i think you should go check that out it's our membership website and we are actually offering seven day free trials on our memberships now so you can sign up completely risk three for seven days and whilst you're here you can take advantage of you know, project reviews the airdrops and um, the data and things like that that's going on and we're going to focus in on the XRP data in this video okay so if you haven't already checked it out the link is in the description below um, and you can sign up to a plan now for the data plan uh, you'd have to go for the mega pack or choose a plan plus the data uh, during the, uh, the checkout process and to get access to the data side of things once you have access to the data then you'll be able to kind of review all the things that we're going to review in this video okay 
So we're going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see. Uh, so in here, we can see things like the all-time high, how many days it's been since the all-time high, the current price, and how far we are down. So 77% down from the all-time high. The average gas fee paid in XRP, and this is astonishing, guys, is 0.0018 of an XRP. Um, that is absolutely fantastic. Now, bear in mind the price of an action of XRP right now, and it costs 0.0018 of an XRP to make a transaction. The average transaction value is $9,940. I mean, XRP is definitely set up for moving money, right? It's, it's use cases there, and you can see just how cheap it is to move money across borders, right? Um, so the total fees in the last 24 hours were 2,111 XRP. Um, so that in USD value would be $1,158. Um, and there were 1.1 million, almost 1.2 million um, transactions. Okay, so you can just see just how cheap this thing is to transact. It costs fifteen hundred dollars to move one thousand one hundred and eighty-eight thousand and thirty-nine transactions, which is just fantastic. Thirty-five thousand active addresses out of a total four point seven million. Thirty-nine billion dollar market cap. Again, market cap is only supply multiplied by price, so it's it's a foolish metric to look at, but it's there because people like it. Um, and fifty-two billion out in circulating supply. Liquidations uh, they currently sit up here. Uh, OKX being the top exchange, but total liquid being three point four four million dollars, OKX being the exchange with the highest amount of liquidations on XRP being one point six four million. Uh, long positions are the ones that got wiped out at seventy percent. Being long got liquidated, and twenty nine uh, got uh, or short positions got liquidated. You can see here that OKX was forty two percent of all liquidations. Bybit was thirty percent of all liquidations. Binance seventeen percent, and then Horby and so forth. It sort of whittles down from there. But really, what I want to talk about are the wallet counts, the amount of XRP holders um, and how much XRP they hold in their wallets. Are they increasing? Are they decreasing? Are they betting against or are they betting uh, for a Ripple, right? And specifically when it comes to the SEC versus Ripple, right? And What's interesting, if we start on the high side, right, because we have wallets that have over 1 million XRP, over 100,000 XRP, over 10,000 XRP, over 1,000 XRP, and so forth, right? These kind of buckets of people are going to act differently depending on market conditions and the economic climate that we're in, right? And so when we take a look at these buckets of, uh, of wallets, we can see whether people are going to be overly emotional and reacting to price action, as in they are retail investors down on the lower side of the spectrum. Uh, if I can find my mouse down here, right on the lower side of the spectrum. Or they are institutional level whale players on the higher end of the spectrum who behave differently. And when you start to actually analyze these uh, behaviors uh, from a psychological point of view, then you can start to actually be predictive over what you think is likely to happen. Now, when it comes to XRP, the fantastic news is most of these wallets are heavily accumulating, meaning that uh, we are still seeing growth in the 1 million XRP or more, right? Over the last few days though over the last 30 days uh, we've seen them down 1.4 percent they were taking profits as we had that initial surge upwards right and uh, pretty obvious that we can see that here but over a 365 day period they're actually up 12.67 percent the 100,000 xrp or more again profits have been taken in the last 30 days down 0.64 percent but they're up 22.8 percent in the last 365 days so you can see there's growth there even um, during this entire bear market right they've been accumulating 10,000 and XRP or more have just been accumulated, not really taking profits in the recent moves to the upside, but up 32.91% in 365 days. Now, down here, we can see on the 1,000 XRP or more, uh, again, just all accumulating, not really taking profits. We're into the retail area now. Uh, and we can see that um, they're up 29.54% in the last uh, 365 days. 100 XRP or more, no profits being taken, still accumulating. 10 XRP or more is kind of foolish because I think you need at least 20 XRP in a wallet to kind of count it. So anything lower than that is kind of really hard to kind of see. But you can see growth in these nonetheless, right? So my point here is that we see growth across the board on a yearly scale, but profits have been taken recently on some of these larger size wallets. And that's very natural. You tend to find this when it comes to the larger wallets. They need liquidity to be selling into. So over a million uh, wallets, 
that some, some of those have dropped down a little bit. Okay, so it's interesting to review this data, see how people are behaving and understand whether or not um, you got large players actually dumping on the market. And that's going to be a big sign of reversals. Okay, so where you start seeing 100,000 or a million sized XRP wallets starting to decrease uh, in the number of these wallets that exist, then you start to understand that, yeah, there's probably going to be a turn in the market, right? And that's kind of where we have seen profits getting taken as we we're kind of up into this higher range. And you can see price getting, you know, pushed back down because of it, right? The larger institutional players were selling into the liquidity as people were FOMOing in and buying at the top range here, they were selling into that. Okay, so it's important that we can reflect on both those things. But as I was saying, guys, if you wanted to get access to this, then why not check out membership.cheekycrypto.io um, and basically sign up to a plan and you'll get seven days free on those. Now it starts at $14.99. Uh, that does not include the data, as you can kind of see at the bottom here. None of these four include the data, but you can get the data uh, completely separately um, and you can buy that and add that to checkout. So you can go for the $14.99 basic entry plus the data, or you can go for absolutely everything at $49.99 and that will give you access to the courses, it will give you access to the, the data, everything that we do in Discord, basically everything, right? So uh, why not check it out, membership.cheekycrypto.io and uh, why not try it out for seven days, completely risk free. Let's jump back down into the charts and take a look at what's going on here for XRP then. So as we can see, we had the move to the upside, right? This was predicted on the channel weeks ahead of time. And now we didn't know that the news was gonna break to drag us up there, but we did know that that was the most likelihood, uh, the most likely area and the highest probability of a move was to up go up into this box right this box was between 79.91 and 73.96 we wicked up to 93.80 because Binance absolutely loves everything to the penny right um, and so what's really important here is that although we didn't know that that news was going to break the structures of Elliott Wave Theory were aligned very very nicely okay now it happened very quickly and we got rejected here okay so our c wave structure is complete and i don't think we're yet finished with our move to the downside i was hoping that we'd have another break upwards but that doesn't seem to be the case right now i do suspect we probably will be pushing up a little ways um but i don't think we're necessarily done just yet as i was talking about this being potentially an opportunity to come back up a little ways does not necessarily mean that we're going to break up massively okay i could be wrong on that it might be a catalyst to say that we've done this correction here and we can start to look at this move upwards which is possible and i'll show you what that might look like okay uh, again it's too soon to know for certain but if we have already bottomed here then we will be looking at a move up towards 90 to 96 okay but it would mean that we'd have to break higher than the existing highs and i would not expect that okay um so it's something that's possible but not something that i would expect that would basically be an a b c structure like this okay the true uh, the, the opposite is also true Okay, um, and that is that we are doing a move like this, A, B, and C, and we've got to break on down further. Okay, and all we've seen so far is what I believe to be the case, a mini move upwards before we have that break to the downside. Okay, so we target our equilibrium, then we move on down. Okay, so there's a few things to go on here. I would love XRP to break up massively. I just don't think it's quite where it needs to be just yet, but I do suspect that we will have another break to the upside where we'll be targeting out that $1 level pretty easily. Um, so yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Um, do you think XRP will be um, pushing way above the dollar level by the, the end of the year? Let me know what your thoughts are on all of that. And um, let me know what your thoughts are on the accumulation that's occurring for XRP in the comments down below. If you found this useful and informative, smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you haven't joined us in Discord, make sure you do that. Link in the description below. And why not try out membership.cheekycrypto.io completely free of charge on the seven day free trial. Uh, link is in the description below. Until the next one though guys, have a fantastic day. We are not financial advisors, none of what we have communicated early or in a writing here should be considered as financial advice. It is not. Do your own research before investing in any digital asset or affiliate offers and understand that investing in any crypto is risky. If you do, you need to be prepared to risk your entire investment. This video is for information and investing advice only. All our videos are strictly personal opinions. Please make sure you do your own research and never take our opinions for financial advice. There are multiple strategies and not all strategies fit for people. Our videos are not financial advice.